Well, hello friends, welcome to Maria Smasani, where in this video I'm going to share my 2021 December pages um, that I added to my December journal. And this is a journal I created a, a couple of years ago, uh, 2018 to be exact, for a Dear Julie Julie challenge. It is a ring bound style journal. And I've got a couple of years worth of stuff thrown in here. Uh, I'm only going to go over 2021. Um, but as you can see, this journal is, um, <laughs> uh, very chunky for its spine. I mean, it's got small rings. Um, so what's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to end up taking some of these pages and making a separate ring bound journal, but that'll be for another time. Um, this time I'm just going to show you with you what I have for 2021, which is really only this right here. Okay. Um, I do not keep the days necessarily just because I did not want to stress myself out about, you know, uh, writing in some something for every day. I did start off writing something for every day, but um, if it didn't happen, I wasn't going to stress myself out. So I ended up just moving things around throughout this area. So I did write 2021 on this little tab here. Um, and I added this. This is actually a little um, envelope and some embellishments that I got from Jessica of um, Paper Terrace. I joined her um, Patreon, and she sent me, along with you know other, other Patreon members, a nice little happy mail, and I do have a video about that. But I put some of her things throughout this section, including this little ornament right here. This was just white up here, so I wanted to cover that. Um, and even though this is pretty up here, I, you know, it's not permanently covered by this tag. So I just kind of have that tucked in, in here. All right. Then here, this was also from Jessica's, um, little, uh, happy mail bundle there. And then here I have some, um, just different days that I did write things down, <laughs> really scribbled on note papers. And I just have those tucked in here. Okay. Then, this is some more Happy Mail stuff. I th think this is from Jessica's stuff also. And I just basically decorated this page with it. It looks like this got stuck down, which is fine. Because it's just a little doily. So, it was supposed to be free-flowing. So, you could tuck something in here. Just like here. But, that's okay. It looks like it got glued down. So, it's just kind of like a little spread right here. Which is fine. And actually, you know what? I have some little stamps that I got at Dollar Tree this year. I don't even know if I hauled these somewhere. Kind of got them at the last minute and I think I'm just going to add some of those to that empty space over there. It's a little truck and this is the little deer. And of course I wouldn't get it right. That still didn't come out right. It's just these little inexpensive little stamps that are like favors. Um, and it's not stamping right because this isn't flat. But that's okay. Here's a snowflake. Let's see. Oh, I got that one came out good. Let's see if I can get one up here. There, that's cute. Yeah, just again to fill up that space a little bit. All right. Then uh, any Christmas cards that I received, which weren't too many, um, I went ahead and just put holes in them and put them in here which is anything again about a, a ring bound journal you can add pages at will so this was the card i got from jovi and i did a video about her the happy mail that she sent me as well and then uh i did a, i think i already did a video about this little spread and i have just stuff ducked in here as well and yeah i'm pretty sure i did a video on this so i'll just kind of flip it so you can see what i did there and then this is what I did, um, I think it was yesterday or last night. I just stayed up and I started uh, just gluing down basically things that I had thrown in here to put together. I believe this is either from Jovi's Happy Mail or Jessica's. I don't know which one. This is just a little tag from a Mandalorian bag that I picked up at the Dollar Tree that I thought was super cute. And, um, you know, I kept the tag because look how cute it is. It's just got the picture of the Mandalorian there. So, and then I made this a little flip with some washi, which I did glue down with some glue as well. And then I put Jovi's little stickers that she put on her envelope. 
there. And then this is some gift wrap from a gift I received from my friend Sherry. And I, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, by the time you watch this, I will probably have put that video up. But she sent me some Happy Mail as well and wrapped it up in this beautiful gift wrap. So you'll see pieces of that throughout as well. Now, why do I put this picture here? Okay, I wrote this down here. Hubby bought these. So one one day, Hubby brought home these little Santa, um, Santa hat chair covers. And I was so surprised that he did that, uh, especially because I had already tied some ribbon around our chairs. But we do also have some folding chairs that we bring out when, like, you know, the cousins come over and stuff. So um, we used these on those, but I just thought it was cute that he thought to pick something like this up. So I cut up, you know, uh, the packaging and just stuck that in here. Then here's a little notebook that uh, I did as part of this journal when I originally did it. It's just a tag and I put some papers in here and I went ahead and just glued a couple of little things and wrote a couple of little things in here. So there's that. And then this is the super coffee that I stuck in there. This was the packaging from it. I just really liked it. And we really liked that super coffee. So we're going to be on the lookout for it. We got it at a discount store. So it's not the type of place where you can get the same thing all the time. But we'll probably be on the lookout for that. Then this page is dedicated to Dixie. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know we got a puppy for Christmas. She's actually 11 months old. She's a Great Pyrenees, um, which is a beautiful dog, a larger breed. Um, this is not her. This is a picture of a bone. See, it says grass-fed right here. I had bought her a bone at the Dollar Tree, actually a, a pack of a couple of rib bones, and she really loved them. And I just cut out the little dog that uh, was on the packaging and put it there. I also found this music for, you know, the song Dixie, and I just thought, oh, how perfect. So I just tore a little piece of it and stuck it here as a background. Here's another piece of that pretty gift wrap. This was already here when I made the journal, you know, back in 2018. So it's just appropriate. That was a doggy page. Um, and then this was the, it's just the pack or the instructions from the um, harness that we bought for her, for Dixie. And it's just the instructions on how to put it on and all that stuff. And I just thought it'd be nice to keep it in here. You know, it's a little memory. We bought all this in December. So there's that. Then this is my Panetton page. I just, uh, this is my favorite nostalgic um, thing to eat around Christmas time because ever since I was a child in Peru, we used to eat these things. Now, there was a specific brand in Peru called Donofrio. That was the brand that we ate. The thing you had to eat had to be a Donofrio Panetton. But of course, here in the United States, unless you go to a specific you know peruvian store or something you can't get that brand but you do see these panettones of all different brands italian ones all over the place so we did pick up a couple and i just cut up the um packaging and I actually added a little pocket back here maybe i'll put this in the pocket and this is just a lottery ticket that was given to my husband as part of his little merry christmas card <laughs> so i just stuck it in here and of course, I can journal more or stick something else in here if I wanted to. But for now, it's just there. Here's another Christmas card. This one, it's such a pretty Christmas card. What I decided to do a little different with this one is instead of just cutting the holes and letting it open in here like I did with uh, with this one, is um, there was really nothing in the back of here. So I cut it in half and I glued the part that was written on to the back of this so it's just one page you know instead of like double pages and it does make it a little thicker but look what a pretty card that is and um this was from Jovi okay I gotta tell you Jovi if you're watching this I showed my husband this tag and when I showed it to him and I said look at this closely I wish I should have recorded his reaction. He got such a kick out of it. He loved this tag because it's got a little pig in it. Let me, let me, let me close in here. Oop, no, there you go. See, it's got a little pig. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know. Hubs loved that tag. And I'll probably write something about that here. But what I did is I just tied it with the little ribbon um, onto the, the 
the ring there. Let me zoom back out. Okay. Yeah. So that's just tied in there. And I kind of like how it just kind of floats in there. So there's that. Here's another Christmas card that I received from some friends. And then here on, on this side, I, I glued this envelope. It's one of the first fake covers. This was one of like my great bargains that I found at a fleet, uh, a yard sale this month, well, the month of December. And so I pay, I did sell some of them, but um, I found this one. I kept it for myself. It's um first day cover from 1964 for Christmas. And it's just so pretty that I just kept this one for myself. And it's Christmas, so I just stuck it in here. And um, and I, this was apart from the Happy Mail from um, either Jessica or Jovi. And then this was a gift card that, that my employer got me. This is just the packaging. I just stuck that in there. So more of that pretty gift wrap. And on the back, I just put some more gift wrap. This was from a present that we received from our cousins. This is just a little scrap that I was at, that actually kind of fell off, and it was here, and it had these pretty little little birds that looked like they're in the snow. Um, I may be wrong, but that's what it looked like to me. So I just stuck them there, and then these are just pieces from the gift wrap. Um, that's the gift wrap, and this was the wrapping that Jovi wrapped her package to me in another Christmas card I received and then in the back of it again it was plain white I just glued another Christmas card that I received this one was from my employer and um so I just stuck that in here and this was from the envelope um it was so pretty so I just uh, you know glued it in here so and then on the back so it's funny this greeting card has a greeting card stuck on the inside and a greeting card stuck in the back this was the greeting card that uh, my friend sherry sent me with her little happy mail and i glued it this way so that it's a pocket and then in the pocket i stuck this other little card that she sent me and there's that little ticket that i lost in the video that i recorded when i opened it <laughs> But uh, that is tucked in here, and I decided to just leave the flap hanging so that I would know it was in there, and I could just pull it out instead of just sticking the whole thing in there and forgetting, you know, that this was a pocket. So there's that. And then on this last page, this is the last page, the back I didn't do anything with. It was already decorated like that. But on this page, it's got some clear pockets, and I really love how this came out. I definitely have to do this again in journals. Basically, I just took some acetate from, like, um, sticker packaging or whatever you know, like after you use up your stickers that the, pa the, the 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 packaging that the stickers were stuck to right <laughs> makes sense I just cut it in half and I sewed it on to here made these two pockets and I really love how they came out this is a, a journal card that that was already in here when I made the journal back in 2018 it's just blank in the back but it's just some collaged gift wrap and then in here I stuck another first day cover another couple of them actually this was from 1970 and then this is these are more things that came in Jessica's happy mail and um, I just stuck all that in here in this pocket for now I mean I may again there's goodies in here so I may take some of this stuff out and put it somewhere else where I can use this stuff. Ooh, look how pretty these fabrics. Yep, Michigan Wildlife. So, ooh, in this. Is this Jovi's or Jessica's? I, um, I, you know, everything gets, uh, like, uh, mixed together <laughs> sometimes. But, um, so, yeah, that that is... Um, it that's all I did for December as you can see I did not even put numbers on pages and everything is kind of mished meshed together but that's okay it's still my memories from you know what went on this past month it's like a whirlwind anyway <laughs> so I didn't feel that it was that important to remember specifically what day each thing happened I mean Dixie I know we got her exactly on Christmas husband brought her home New Year's Eve so I'll never forget that but the other things it doesn't really matter you know the exact date that they happened but I, I think it matters that I capture it in here so that I can remember it and that is my December not December daily but my December journal 
for 2021 at least the portion this portion right here and um for next year i'm definitely going to have to rework this i may leave only one or two years in here and put and you know put some other make another binder style or maybe i can find a, a thicker binder that is small like this to you know, do it or maybe i'll just use rings i don't know we'll see what happens but um I am going to be working on Christmas stuff throughout the year, and I'm actually going to just do that as a personal challenge for myself. I thought about opening it up as an open collaboration. I don't know uh, if there's something else already. I'm sure there's other stuff similar going on already, but if not, let me know if you would be interested in participating in it as an open collaboration. If not, that's fine. I will make it as a personal challenge to myself. And that is to work on some Christmas item, either for my, for my journal, like maybe filling in things from past Christmases, or making gifts for Christmas, or new Christmas journals, whatever it is, but some Christmas-related craft throughout the year at least once a month i'm going to work on something for christmas that way when christmas comes again in 2022 um it won't i don't know I'll, I, I feel like i will have gotten more accomplished because i will have worked on it a little bit throughout the year instead of just trying to cram it all you know in december or even you know november or whatever so um if you do want to accept this as a challenge, you know, just an open collaboration, um, I'm thinking, I was thinking of naming it 12 months of Christmas Eves and then posting them on the 24th. That way on December, then my last one would be posted on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th. But, you know, all the Eves that come before December's Christmas Eve are still Eves or, you know, prior to Christmas. So I thought I'd just make it 12 months of Christmas Eve's posting on the 24th of each month some Christmas related item let me know if that sounds interesting to you and if it does then maybe I'll make a separate video just to announce that otherwise I'll just start posting myself <laughs> like I said as a personal challenge all right enough of my yapping thank you so much for watching let me know what was your favorite part of this um little journal or if you have any suggestions or ideas from me once again i really appreciate the time that you spend here um listening me to me um you know stumble over my words <laughs> and share the little things that i come up with crafty wise once again thank you thank you thank you if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and you know all that good youtube stuff and i hope that you have a very blessed day Bye-bye.